Hello everybody, it's Fufu here, back again with my friend John for another Why You Should Use. Today we will be looking at the weird glowy mushroom Sheenotic, but that's not the only Pokemon we're looking at today, is it John? That's right, Sam. On my channel, we are going to be going over Kamala, the adorable little koala Pokemon that you should definitely use in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but before you figure out why you should use Kamala, stay tuned for all of the reasons you should use Sheenotic. Design. This weird alien glowy mushroom thing I think is pretty cool. John and I are pretty divided over this one though. I really like the design. I think that it's creepy long fingers and big mushroom head and weird massive eyes. I think that they add up to this awesome creepy looking thing um, that's actually really, really strange and pretty scary to come across in a big forest. It's definitely not just another boring mushroom. I think that Pokemon do quite, do mushrooms quite well. If you look at Parasect, that's like a mushroom eating an insect and it's just so cool. And I think this one, again, not just another mushroom, is really cool. It is said that in forests where Shinonic lives, it is treacherous to enter at night. People confused by its strange lights can never find their way home again. And while never finding your way home is pretty sad, getting stuck with these disgusting, just ridiculously creepy looking Pokemon is so sad and terrible. I feel really bad for anyone who has gotten stuck in that forest and I really hope they can get out soon. Typing and stats. Shinotic is grass fairy type, which we have seen previously in Whimsicott, and we've actually also got it again this generation in Tapu Bulu. Um, so it's a little bit of a shame that it's not unique, but I actually really, really like this typing. It's pretty good defensively. It does have that uh, quad poison weakness, so it's really weak to poison, and it's got an, a number of other weaknesses too. However, it's got some really, really nice resistances, um, and so that's that's pretty good. I quite like that. Offensively, not amazing because both of its stabs are resisted by fire, poison, and steel types. Um, so you'd need to see what coverage is available, but I, I just quite like the typing. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Shinotic does not have good stats, and it's actually really disappointing. Beyond me not being a huge fan of this Pokemon, you know, it kind of sucks that it has a base stat total of only 405. That's the same as a lot of the middle stage Pokemon, and I think actually 14 of the 21 middle stage starters have the same base stat total, which is really ridiculous. They're not doing this Pokemon any favors, but it does have a few things that are pretty decent. Um, 100 special defense is actually really good, um, and I, I can be happy about that, along with 80 defense, which really isn't bad, and 90 special attack, which isn't bad at all. Uh, 45 attack is unusable, but you're clearly just going to be on the special attacking side. 60 HP is really not amazing. I mean, it has pretty decent defenses, so that's not as bad, but it's just really not incredible. And uh, the 30 speed, that's kind of what you expect from Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon. So in general, kind of sad that they couldn't even bump up its base stat total to something that is a fully evolved Pokemon, but it does still have some redeeming qualities. Ability. So after those disappointing stats, is there anything in terms of abilities that can patch that up? Well, it gets Illuminate that's completely useless competitively. It, all it does is increase the encounter rate in game. Um, so that's pretty useless in battle. It does get Effect Sport, which means if the opponent does make contact with Shinotic, they have a chance of being put to sleep, being poisoned, or being paralysed, which can be pretty useful, especially on a more defensive mod. And I know that this Pokemon doesn't have the most HP, but it probably will be used in a more defensive capacity, I would have thought. Um, so that can be quite useful. And its hidden ability is Rain Dish, which means that it heals uh, 1 16th of its HP in rain, so on rain teams that could be useful, but definitely more situational if you're not bringing rain, you're probably not going to want that ability. So Effect Spore is probably the one we'll be seeing the most, and it's not an amazing ability, so it's not really going to make Sheenotic completely usable after those base stats. We'll have to consider moves to see if that's what happens. Moves. Shinotic has its own signature move called Strength Sap, which is a really interesting move. Uh, the user restores its HP by the same amount as the target's attack stat. It also lowers the target's attack stat. So this is actually really, really cool, and I would love to actually use this on a set. I mean, that can be really good, especially if you're going against a Pokemon with a really high attack stat, and uh, you can really force some switches, heal up this Pokemon really quickly. 
uh, and it's really nice. I mean, it's kind of a gamble. You go against especially offensive Pokemon, probably not going to be the best, but that's okay because it's just a signature move. They're not usually even this good, so I'm just happy it has a pretty decent one. It also has Spotlight, which is going to give it a role in BGC because Spotlight makes it so the user shines Spotlight on the target so that only the target will be attacked during the turn. Uh, that's just really helpful in doubles VGC formats. Really nice to see it have that move. And it also has Spore, another fantastic move. You know, it puts the user to sleep. It never misses, which is really, really nice. You know, after so many sleep powder misses, it gets a little bit annoying. So Pokemon with Spore makes your life a lot easier. Uh, and as you probably imagine, it does have Moonblast and it does have Giga Drain. The sad thing is it has Sludge Bomb as its only coverage, so it's not going to be something you're going to use offensive that much. But with the combination of Moonblast, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb, that's pretty much all you really need. I mean, maybe you'd want a few other options, but it, it's not the worst. And Leech Seed rounding out the notable moves, pretty solid, especially on a more bulky grass type. Set idea. So with this Shinotic set, I decided to use what good characteristics we can get from its stats and it doesn't have a, an amazing HP stat but we really want to shore that up. It's got a very usable special defense stat, it's got a decent special attack stat and quite usable defense stat. I think with its typing it's probably going to want to try and take on as many physical hits as possible. So. Um, I'm going to give it max HP and max defense with a bold nature just to really shore up the physical defense. Its special defense is pretty decent anyway, um, so we're going to max invest in its HP and defense. Hopefully it can take some things like knock off, fighting type hits. It should be able to take them relatively well because it resists those and also earthquake which is very common. So I've decided to make a defensive set. It's got leftovers so that we can stay around for a bit longer and also effects ball because if the opponent is going for things like knock off or close combat or U-turn or anything like that that would make contact with the Shinotic, we should be able to take that quite easily and they might get poisoned, paralyzed or put to sleep. So that could be very, very helpful. And then the moves are going to be Giga Drain and Moonblast with some two nice stabs. Moonblast is really good because it can drop the opponent's special attack, meaning that we can survive a bit longer. Giga Drain we drain their health so we can survive a bit longer. Strength Sap is there so that we can heal ourselves up depending on the opponent's attack stat and we will drop that attack stats too, meaning that we can last a bit longer. <laughs> and then finally Spore, we can hopefully put some things to sleep. That's really where the strength of this set lies. Genotic, if it's going to be used, is probably going to be used because it gets access to Spore, which is a really, really powerful move to have. Um, so I think that this is maybe the best set you could play around with some other things though, can't you John? Another idea that you could use with Shinotic is more of a Trick Room Pokemon. It has a terrible speed stat with 30, so why not abuse that? And even though it doesn't have the best special attack, it does still have a usable one with 90. So throw on a Specs and Giga Drain Moonblast Sludge Bomb will be doing a decent amount of damage. And the final move can just be a hidden power, whether it be fire, ground, or just whatever extra coverage you need on that. And it actually could surprise some people and put in a little bit of work. So that's our take on Shinotic. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It does have a low base stat total, but I think it's typing and moves do elevate it a bit so that it's it's a bit more than just the stats. And yeah, I, I for one really like it. John doesn't agree with me, but I hope you guys do. And I hope you guys now want to use this thing and try it out to see what you can make of it. Let me know what you can make of it if you have tried to use it competitively and also, after this video, please go to John's channel to check out our video on why you should use Kamala, a really cool Pokemon, lots of potential there actually, and it's got loads of cool tricks up its sleeve, so please go and check that video out. All that's left to be said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.